In this presentation, we will show photos of atoms and molecules taken using the latest instrumentation technology. These techniques were developed at the IBM Research Laboratory in San Jose, California, the University of California in Berkeley, California, the Donostia International Physics Center in San Sebastian, Spain, the Kharkov Institute of Physics and Technology in Kharkiv, Ukraine, and the Magna Graecia University in Catanzaro, Italy. The earliest known person to describe atoms were the Greek philosophers Democritus, Lysippus, and Epicurus at about 500 BC. Democritus called these particles atoms, from the Greek word atomus. These Greek philosophers believed that everything is composed of tiny particles which are indivisible. They also believed that there is empty space between atoms, that atoms are indestructible, and that they are always in motion. It was not until the 19th century that a better understanding of atoms was developed. In 1810, John Dalton described an atom as a ball-like structure, as shown in the diagram. The concepts of atoms having a nucleus and electrons were unknown at that time. Currently, the atom is visualized as a nucleus surrounded by a cloud of one or more negatively charged electrons constantly in motion. A typical drawing of an atom would be like that shown in the diagram. In this view, the nucleus is shown as the tiny central core of the atom, and contains positively charged protons and neutrons which have no charge. Starting in the 1980s, scientists developed instruments to see and photograph both atoms and molecules. In 1995, this photograph of silicon atoms was taken with the newly developed atomic force microscope at the IBM Research Laboratories in San Jose, California. This photograph of carbon atoms from a sample of graphite was also taken with the atomic force microscope at the IBM Research Laboratories in San Jose, California. In 2009, these photographs of a single atom of carbon were taken using a field emission electron microscope at the Kharkov Institute of Physics and Technology in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Photographs A and B show two different arrangements of the electron clouds. The concept of molecules as combinations of atoms was first introduced by chemist Robert Boyle in 1661. He was one of the pioneers of the modern experimental scientific method, and is also best known for Boyle's Law, which describes the inversely proportional relationship between the absolute pressure and volume of a gas at constant temperature in a closed system. Boyle claimed that the basic elements of matter consisted of various sorts and sizes of particles, which he called corpuscles. Boyle also envisioned that corpuscles were capable of arranging themselves into groups. It was not until 200 years later that the concept of molecules was recognized. In 1861, a chemist named Joseph Loschmidt was one of the first to show drawings of molecules like those shown in these diagrams. Loschmidt drew molecules with single, double, and triple bonds. Today, chemists use drawings like these to show the structures of organic compounds like methane, ethane, ethylene, and acetylene. Four years later, in 1865, Friedrich August Kekulé was the first to propose the structure of benzene. He drew it as a hexagon with alternating single and double bonds as shown in the diagram. Today, this diagram is known as the Kekulé structure. It is still used today to show the benzene ring as it appears in many organic compounds. These diagrams are examples of how current scientists visualize various molecules. The drawing of ethane on the top left is known as a Lewis dot diagram. First developed by chemist Gilbert N. Lewis in 1916, these diagrams are still used today. The drawing of ethane shows the sharing of electrons between the carbon and hydrogen atoms. 
Another way to visualize molecules is with ball and stick models. The balls represent the atoms and the sticks show the bonds. The photo on the top right side shows a ball and stick model of caffeine. The red balls represent oxygen atoms, and the blue balls show nitrogen atoms. The grey balls show carbon atoms and white represents the hydrogen atoms. Two sticks between atoms show the double bonds. Another popular way to show the structure of molecules is with shaped models, as shown on the bottom right for a model of ethanol. In this shaped model, the oxygen atom is shown as a red ball, while the carbon atoms are grey, and the hydrogen atoms are blue. Today, there are several methods used to draw benzene and other molecules that use the benzene ring. In the lower left, the Kekulé drawing is shown. However, most chemists today use the line drawing for benzene and other ring structures. This drawing does not show the hydrogen atoms while the carbon atoms are represented as the corners of the hexagon. The lines depict the single and double bonds. Other chemists use the molecular orbital version, where the sharing of electrons is shown as a circle within the hexagon. The instruments that scientists develop to see and photograph both atoms and molecules include the electron microscope, the atomic force microscope, the field emission electron microscope, the scanning probe microscope, and, the quantum microscope. Scientists are now able to confirm their vision of what molecules really look like. In 1988, Scientists at the IBM Research Laboratories in San Jose, California used the atomic force microscope to take this photograph of benzene molecules. Note the similarity between the photo and the molecular orbital drawing of benzene on the lower left as well as the ball and stick model shown on the lower right. This photograph of a single molecule of pentacene was taken with the atomic force microscope in 2009 at the IBM Research Laboratories. Now let us compare the photograph of a single molecule of pentacene with a line drawing of the molecule. This photo shows the bonds to the hydrogen atoms as well as the electrons in circular motion around the benzene rings. As you can see, the photo validates the molecular orbital drawing of pentacene's structure. In 1953, James Watson, Francis Crick and Rosalind Franklin deduced the structure of deoxyribonucleic acid, also called DNA, indirectly using X-ray diffraction. As shown in this animation, they envisioned the molecule as having two long polymer strands connected together by hydrogen bonds in a helical structure. In 2012, Enzo Di Fabrizio and his colleagues at Magna Grisia University in Catanzaro, Italy captured the first direct photo of a molecule of DNA using an electron microscope. This electron microscope photo shows the helical structure as a tight coil. Observing the intricate process of how an individual molecule undergoes a complex reaction was accomplished in 2013. Dimas G. De Odiza and his 11 colleagues at both the University of California Berkeley and the Donostia International Physics Center in San Sebastian, Spain, used non-contact atomic force microscopy to study a chemical transformation. Their images revealed the complex surface reaction mechanisms underlying a thermally induced cyclization of a single molecule. The images shown in the photographs taken by De Odiza's team show the complex process of the cyclization of a molecule. The similarity between the line drawings and the photographs is apparent. As a testament to human ingenuity, the textbook diagrams and molecular models of the past were inferred without any direct knowledge of how molecules actually looked. 
Recent advances in instrumentation technology have now allowed scientists to view and photograph atoms, molecules, and even chemical reactions as they take place. This presentation was produced as a public service to help middle school and high school science teachers develop experiments, presentations, and demonstrations that can be used in their classes. More science experiments and demonstrations are available on the Tops of Santa Clara Valley website, www.topsofscv.org. Tops, Teaching Opportunities for Partners in Science is a program aimed at stimulating greater interest in science by middle and high school students.